<laughs> All right, let me knock this out real quick. Feed these hungry Steam Deck fans real quick. <laughs> they don't take no nonsense. Hello, people. Hello, viewers. Another beautiful day. Yeah, don't feel fussed. <laughs> this workout this trip is good. We're excellent. What? All right, what I got for you guys? Are we talking about Proton here? Let's see here. Proton 9.0 dot. No, 9.0 dash one release with expanded game support for Steam Deck slash Linux. Yeah, news, deals, games, update, the usual stuff. See what I mean? You see that two terabytes of storage on the Steam Deck comes in handy when all those updates for those protons come in. All right, look, it says here, uh, Valve today released the first version of Proton 9.0, the the newest stable version of the Windows compatibility layer to run games on the Steam Deck on desktop Linux and it says build uh, on top of the new Wine 9.0 along with plenty of other uh, patches enhancements and it says here's what Valve said previously only playable on Proton Experimental let's see here uh, Dyn this is Dino Gen Online Photography Simulator Demo George McGeehan Game Heroes Final the finals, true reporter, a mystery of Misswood, road to Voss, Vostok demo, witch on the holy night, Lord of the Rings, Golem, Sonic Colors Ultimate, Command and Conquer Red Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, Firestorm, Ace Sling, and uh, Tavern of Elves, uh, Snares of Ruin, uh, Instantly Blade, and Bloody Walls. You know, it says, uh, additionally, the number of CPU cores by these games have been limited to make them actually playable on more CPUs with high counts. Far Cry 2, Far Cry 4, Witcher 2, Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, Enhanced Edition, Warcraft and the Guardian of the Light, Warhammer 40,000 uh, Space Marines 2, Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War, uh, Dawn of War 2 uh, Chaos Rising, and Dawn of War 2 Retribution. Outcast Second Contact and Prototype. Then it says all the other changes. This and then it says uh, enable NeverPy by default for most games. Uh, Started ignoring system most acceleration in games or using raw input API. Fix uh, Brawl Holla showing a security certificate warning. Fix audio in Bomber Road, uh, the Runco Winco, another uh, lot. Fixed Civilization 5, touch only option in the launcher not working, improved cutscene synchronization in Immortals Phoenix Rising, fix uh, Tohu uh, Meku uh, Sai, Fantastic Dan Meku uh, Festival Part 1 and 2, uh, crashing during the boss fight, fix crash in Disaster Report Summer Memories Epilogue, improved video. Uh, uh, playback in the Bio Mutants, Fix uh, Imperium's uh, Greek War uh, Launcher, Fix Memory uh, fix, fix memory Leaks That Cause Final Fantasy uh, Online Launcher Crash Over a Long Time, Fix Crash in Microsoft Flight Simulator, Live uh, Weather is uh, Enabled, Improved Support for Input Device with 8 Plus Access, Fix uh, Savoring, Ancient uh, remix itching during the certain animation fix super robot wars crashing with uh, languages other than English fix uh, doom eternal audio crackling on certain setups uh, fix lethal company uh, phasmophobia and other unity games crashing when controllers with a hat sw switch is played in. Improve the video playback for following uh, titles, Lords of the Fallen, uh, Harvestella, uh, Wayfinder, Sea of Thieves, King of Fighters, XV, fix a uh, default uh, scaling for the last game on last game on Steam Deck, <laughs> fix audio issues in playing into video in Airborne Kingdom, fix bay Bayonetta crashing on certain system, fix Escape from Monkey Island getting minim minimized on a mouse, Click, fix audio controls, uh, spat spatulization in the VR chat with AV Pro, fix new prefix falling to initial on uh, file systems that do not support copy underscore file underscore uh, range, 
uh, syscall, <laughs> update the file distribution method to save this space, rebase on top of, rebase on top of upstream wine 9.0, update DKD3D Proton to version 2.11.1-49-3-I two dash dash G32FF676B, update DSVK to version 2.3-47-GE2A46A34, uh, update DXVK Navify to version 0.6.4-48-G0951AFB, uh, and add support for Steam Works for SDK 1.59, as seen in the official change log, and then it says, uh, says uh, if you already had the beta of Proton 9.0 downloaded, it will just show up as a normal update in your Steam downloads. If you weren't, if you if you went to play a game that was verified on Proton 9 on Proton 9.0, that would also get it to download automatically. Uh, otherwise, you can search for Proton 9.0. In your Steam library and select to click select it to install it there. Example on Steam Deck. Mm. And it says, uh, just before the weekend, giving you plenty of time to get testing all this latest excellent work from Valve and everyone else who work on Proton. That's a really great list of improvements there overall. Is there a specific game you are waiting on? The incompatible, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're on it. Valve, Steam Deck, folks, Linux. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me get through this. Yeah, they're on it, man. They're on it. I told you, updates are like this, man. Marching in. Oh yeah, they're coming in. Oh yeah, okay. We know. We okay. We, can we talk about this? Nvidia GeForce. Nvidia is making it easier now to uh, install GeForce now on the Steam Deck. You know the Steam Deck can do uh, ray tracing and fluid motion. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, what's, yeah, Steam Deck is good, man. Anyway, what else we got on the game in the front here? I got some content I need to put out. Let's see here. Uh, hmm. uh, I can go back, go back. Let me get this done and get it over with. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, you Steam Deck fans are good. Uh, yeah, Chris, where's, where's the news? Don't worry, I got you covered, especially with uh, Drug Dealer Simulator 2. <laughs> anyway, and video makes it easier to get GeForce Now on Steam, showing just how popular the Steam Deck is. And video are actually making it easier to get their cloud gaming service GeForce Now on Steam. While you've been able to get it working on the Steam Deck for, for a while now, like I've showed off before previously, it's still a bit of manual effort to do, thankfully. It seems that's going to change. News comes from their latest blog post, which mentioned they have a new install upper, uh, install option scroll down that's currently in beta. This will automatically uh, configure a GeForce Now browser in Steam Deck uh, gaming mode uh, that uh, install uh, Google Chrome for you and sort out all the settings you will need to get it working. <laughs> it says, looking at the uh, actual downloads specifically, the README notes it will install Chrome if not already installed. Adjust the flat pack settings for gamepad use and a GeForce Now shortcut to Steam. Uh, update the shortcut uh, uh, asset to look correct for their uh, branding and set a default gamepad layout for it too so pretty much that what i expect there but great to see now it's just a simple script to download and run in desktop mode and all the little bits are done for you there it says here an update they will rele release last week version 2.0.62 for geforce now also tweak it so that you can more easily Navigate the service using a gamepad too, and it says in parentheses like the Steam Deck. So with the two together, 
it's easier than ever to do some cloud gaming on the Steam Deck for those games that it just can't handle, especially good if you don't have a powerful PC to Steam, to st I mean to stream it to. This will give you access to games from Steam, Battle.net, Epic Game Store, Ruby Connect, GOG, and more. Yeah, you Steam Deck fans are always getting spoiled. Yeah, spoiled. Like I've been saying from day one. Anyway, <laughs> as soon as I got here, as soon as I got here on the on the um on the gaming front, uh, one more piece of news here, and then we're done for the day for now. All right, what else we got? Um. Let's see here, Total Warhammer 3 gets the 5.0 updates and Thrones of Decay for Linux. Mm. For real interactive, have now ported over all the changes from Total Warhammer uh, version 5.0 update, along with support for the new Thrones of Decay DLC. The update, the update and three DLCs were released on April 30th, with the Linux port being updated today. Pretty good uh, turnaround from for real there, which is nice to see for one of their last native Linux support. The Throne of Decay pack is actually free DLC when you can buy to get buy together or individually. The Throne of Decay uh, packs introduce three new legendary lords for uh, Ner Nergi, the Empire, and the Dwarf, usable in both the Realm of Chaos and Immortal Empire campaign launch trailer below and then it says uh the 5.0 patch notes are pretty uh pretty long but some of the highlights includes hmm, both empire and dwarf have had a full sweep of their buildings trees to bring them up to date remaster and remade some of the old front end videos for a variety of uh, legendary lords uh grow uh go trek uh felix have been reworked so that both of them are now legendary heroes. Iron Man mode, hmm? lots and lots of bug fixes, various uh, balance changes, user interface update, and so on. If you have a link, uh, creative assembly account, then update 5.0 also has an extra free legendary lord for the Nergi race and. Epi, epi, epidem, epidemus and so you can get the you can get you can buy the game and various dlc from fanatical humble store steam yeah you guys are good <laughs> anyway news deals games update you guys are good so that uh that should hold you for now until next time <laughs> anyway but uh, you Steam back in Linux gamers, you're good. Yeah. And, um, play all the games you want. And, um, have fun and enjoy yourself. Huh? Um, new updates are being made. And um, they're on there. They're being made and they're, work, they're being worked on. And they're on their way in. So when they arrive, I'll let you know. But yeah. Um, uh, the Steam Deck is uh, doing pretty well right now. Especially with ray, the Steam Deck doing ray tracing. <laughs> it can also do probably do fluid motion too. AMD and Valve just sitting back just looking at everybody like, uh, you know, the Steam Deck can do it. <laughs> so, yeah, they're good right now. Uh, um, Valve, Valve is always updating things. Uh, uh, Proton is always getting updates. And video GeForce now is always adding games to the catalogs. Games leaving in them. Well, um, you know, they made some improve improvements now to make NVIDIA GeForce now more easier on the Steam Deck, so they were listening, so yeah, but that should be good news for you Steam Deck fans, but yeah, you Steam Deck fans, you're spoiled, <laughs> news deals games up there, man, you guys are spoiled, and we're, we're, we're just in the second day of May, yeah. And then comes June, then July, and August, September. Yeah, got more games and more news to come. I'll keep you guys up to date. 
Uh, but uh, Riot, Riot now, they need to fix that uh, uh, League of Legends situation. Yeah? They created the problem and then try to, Riot, Riot Games created the problem and then try to act like they didn't have anything to do with it. So they need to fix that problem. You know? uh, let people play their uh, League of Legends, whether it's on the Steam Deck or Linux or whether it's on Windows. Just saying. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy it. Nice talking to people again. Chris, the Star Wars. Thank you for it. Go. Please.